DJ, you remember the last time we played Grounded, right? Yes, I do. So what I'm yes, going to do, do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do something we didn't do before. And that is, um, we're going to take a look at Arachnophobia, <laughs> the safe mode. Because I know you're interested in it. So normally, when you have a spider, this is what you see. Now, oh, yeah. stop that. <laughs> so watch this. Now, when you increase it, it shrinks and boink. Oh, it has less legs. Now it's just a floating head. <laughs> or head with a body. And eventually, this uh... is the most... I'm going to tell you something. If I saw that thing attacking me, I'd be frightened as crap. That looks scarier than the ro uh, the, the spider does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put oh this back goodness. on the spider. That's less disturbing. So... Yeah, like the arachnophobia mode is actually for people with arachnophobia. Like they actually studied the they studied the phobia itself. They worked with a they worked with a behavioral lab that like focuses on the the science of it. And uh, that like that's that slider is completely the work of, of working with those people and uh, figuring out exactly what fa what factors. I'm gonna tell you over, uh, something right now though that that thing frightens me. So right, because <laughs> like, <laughs> but like it's a it's a normal kind of frightening for people that have arachnophobia. That would be kind of like okay, that's disturbing, but it's not going to like. Sees me in this world, if a Mario a, ghost a started attacking me, I'd be frightened out of my mind. <laughs> so here we have the four yeah. kids. What's funny is that each of them have their own voice, except for Hoops over there. Hey, nice to meet you. The name's Max. Maxwell Smalls. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. Oh, she does have a voice. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to play as Pete, who's the geeky one. going to play as Pete, who's the geeky one. Yep. So here's the thing is that I actually got further in this and everything that we played is basically the prologue. Mm -hmm. So once again, for those who endlessly played the demo, it's nice. Now, here's the thing. Keep in mind, this is early access. So there's some things that are borked in it. Um, yeah, right. and um, it's more of a gameplay thing. Whoa. First thing, we have this now in front of us. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. And I guess this is how, uh, if there's more than one player here, this is how they explain how there's multiple kids. I wonder what's Step in the hyperdermic. Get your bearings. This is, this is unnerving. Like, what if you were a what? Like, I guess it would be an invasive question to ask someone what they've got in their briefcase, but like. A guy just walking around with a briefcase. <laughs> oh, kids! Here, you have, it's not a hypodermic, actually. It's just the tube that's leading into here. So we don't know what happened. And yes, of course. Uh, through the woods, as, as usual, because we get that lovely sunrise through the gla grass stain. Notice that he's also a lot more talkative. Well, Pete, <laughs> always wanted oh, to go on the baseball's right here. Also. Wow, look at the size of that Chunky Chubbs League-approved baseball. Of course, all the, the kids have something different. Hats. I haven't played this in co-op, so I don't know. Oh, I hear a spy. I hear an ant. Anyways. Uh, so what happens is when you do that, um, you actually get put on your map as a uh, as as a landmark. So it gives you one way. Now, one tr thing interesting about this, um, even though you can place... Le your own little markers they only appear up oh, there, there that was the end um, it only appears on the HUD here it does not appear in the map in the map you're gonna just know where, where, where you're oriented and where the landmarks are so it's an interesting gameplay choice and as before we want to build an axe so that we can start chopping stuff down But there's a lot more story going on um, than was in the demo, obviously. Yeah. And you'll see why. Um, now we enter here. Now we have to just realize wait, oh, oh look at this. So you're going to see ants. What this tells me is there's an anthill nearby. 
and they all they all move in single file towards the ant hill. Now I remember that you s we discussed <laughs> that um, they did a lot of, more of research on AI, so all the all the insects do their own thing. And that's basically what's going on here. It's more there's a lot of it more of it going on. Unfortunately, there can be some states in which uh, you get screwed. Something that they'll probably uh, address in the uh, demo. So, um, let's build an axe. So we go to crafting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have woven fiber, we don't need that. Here we are. Pebblet axe, so we need to... Um, we need more sprigs. We need two more sprigs. Which shouldn't be too hard to find. There's one over here. So what we want to do is find more evidence. Okay, now we can build an axe. Because, obviously, uh, an axe is, um... Not only an axe, but it's also a weapon. Although I will say that the spear is better. So, yes. um... I also found something out. Uh, now, you can drink the bad water here. But, um... In the morning, you'll see dew that you can drink that's completely safe. Now, um... We're gonna yes. go over to the machine... And unlike the last time, there's a lot more things. And here's the thing. I wonder if I should have been... Oh, what are you? Oh, look at this. It's a gnat corpse, and he's eating the gnat. That's my gnat. I don't mind killing the lawn mites, because they are annoying, and they'll attack you on sight. Look at the size of that thing. So, uh, also, the gnats the do, too. Of... And the problem with gnats is that they're flying, and they like to attack. Oh, yeah. I, I, he, he tried to attack me. See? And you'll know he's attacking. No, I like... The first time an ant sees you, he does that little dog, huh? Look, hmm? What are you? Ooh, but I do want the aphid honeydew. That's mine. Thank you. <laughs> now, from what we remember, uh, the ants will steal from you. But they they don't do it as often here. Yes. So now, um, we're back to this... Hmm? In the demo, they were like... They were like straight up stealing yeah. inventory right off your So now, um, we're back on this machine. And one thing we did not do, and I wonder if we could have done it in the demo, is press this button. So now oh, you'll yeah. see, this one is weak. One of them's being blocked. This one's not being blocked. Uh, there. This one is being blocked by, uh, uh, grass, and that basically is telling you, okay, it's time to start chopping stuff down. So... There we go. Let's take these planks. Now, um, have you seen what people have been doing with, with building houses? Oh, they're being very I elaborate about it. You get, I've seen three-story houses um, decorated with all this stuff. I mean, it, it's, it's a crafting game. Now, the next thing we do is we have to see why this laser is so weak. We can't activate it. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Oh, you scared me. Stupid ant. <laughs> yeah, um... I love this, uh... I love this world. I love this lush... Oh, that's another thing. There's forest no poison poison grassy fog. lawn world. At least not yet. So technically, I could go uh, walk as far as I wanted until it's physically in in impossible. I remember the rake, yeah. and I do remember the stink bugs being around the rake. I hope I just don't find any creatures that wanna. There we are. Okay, and so now we're spiders. at the. Le and I could drink this water, but it's icky, and I don't need to drink yet. So, um, what's wrong? Oh. Yep. Yeah. See, you hear that music? That means the lawn mites want to attack. And they are very aggressive. Oh, look. Now we find out why it's so weak. Because lawn mites are having it for, for lunch. So, let me go up here. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is dew. Um, no, it's not dew. Well, here's the thing. Tree sap is important. Someone's trying to attack. Oh, they are. Look at this. Uh, these are head lice, but you know what? They're the crabs from Half-Life 2. 
So all my years of Half-Life are coming into... <laughs> An axe, just the so same as a crowbar. Block, which is pressing the right mouse button. So, here's the first thing that happens. Um, yeah, I can't go in here. It's too dark. I can't attack that knight, but... Um, going in there will be suicide if I don't have a torch. Now, the thing I need for a torch is some tree sap. And that's basically it. Everything else I have. But tree sap is... What? I hear something. Something wants me. Is that you crunching? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. It's kind of disturbing to hear something sorry. crunching in this game. Okay, I do oh, need dry yeah. grass. <laughs> sorry. To build the torch. And then it just flings into little curly cues there. Let's get some more dry grass. Yeah, see, it has new crafting ideas. Now, um, the way it suggests crafting is kind of inconsistent. So, I go to resources, I go to utilities. See, trail markers, um, you'd think that they would create a, uh... Workbench gear, tools, here we are. So, for the torch, I need sap. I have everything else. So, I have to find a tree nearby. And that'll get me into trouble faster than anything else. <laughs> Looking for trees, or tree sap. Mm. Oh, look, I found the rake. Now, I did not find the rake in previous game, in previous oh. run-throughs. You know, I played the first... Oh, you guys, get... It'd be funny if these things wanted to attack your brain and, and turn you into a zombie. Someone else is attacking. Oh, yeah, them. Hey! Right. See, they even attack like... like hit crabs. Should you block them? See? <laughs> oh, that took her. I didn't block all of them. So this is a big old rock. This is not going to help. And I hear someone attacking me again. You know, actually, these things look like... What? That's not... Oh, God, that's a spider leg. Oh, dear. Yeah, you know what that is. Yeah. yeah. No, I have stamina, so I can't run indefinitely. Okay. I don't mind the mites attacking, but okay. So now I am hurt, and I can create bandages. Oh, oh, that's an ant. <laughs> Oh, look, there's water nearby. Now, one of the things about this game is that... What is attack? Oh, the, the uh, ant is attacking the mite, so... Which is good. I mean, I like the fact that... Yeah, I know. Hey, 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 I know what he wants. He wants that aphid juice. You know it. So, oh, look. Yeah. Hey, look, water. Actual water I can drink. Yeah. Oh, I clean just water. This, and it falls to the ground. There we go. Nice and clean. I, there's other things in here which will have. Um, you just have to look at the grass. I'm pr and now here's the thing. I, I'm pre what I want to do for that is I want to get a um, build a canteen which can hold two of those. I still haven't found any mushrooms yet, which is the only thing you can eat right now. But what I really want to find is the tree sap. Now, can I build a... Uh, see, here's the thing. It's hard enough to figure out what is what, because sometimes it's kind of obscure. Here, fiber bandage. It's under snacks. Why is it under snacks? I still need sap. Hey! What's attacking me? Oh, it's friggin... Oh, look at this. The ant is attacking the uh, gnat. Good. Go get him. Nice. They're looking at me like, what, what are you? <laughs> the ants have so much personality in this game. Hey! Mm -hmm. Stupid. No, I'm not ah. drinking that. Sorry. Um, so, let's see. There's a tree over there. And the tree is important in other ways, which I'm not going to spoil. Those things are fat. These things just run. Look, they just book ah. it. And they run all the way to the top of the <laughs> of the branch. <laughs> Those guys... Oh, here we are. Here's food. It's disgusting food, but it's food. And they're not psychedelic. So, uh, you can see my... Uh, Better than starving. You can see my health... Is, my food is low. Oh, uh, here's another landmark. Yes. 
are th- are there like are there like stages of uh, of deterioration if you let what those you things go too long? Oh yeah, they do. The meat goes like, go bad. You know, how, like, the mushrooms don't go bad. Mushrooms oh, don't no, go I bad. Meat like, does go bad. I meant like if you let your. I meant like if you let your food. Oh, uh, you die and then you respawn. That's it. That's it. But no, uh, uh, here's the problem. Okay. You know, this looks disgusting. I was thinking of like. Uh, but it's okay to drink. Uh, ah. where's, where's that sap? Where yeah, I guess that slurp on. But I was thinking, like, uh, I was thinking about sur- survival mode in Fallout New Vegas, where, like, you have stages oh. where, at, after a certain oh. amount of, uh, thirst, um, you, uh, you do you ha- you start, I, if I remember correctly, I never really let it get that low, but you do start reacting. Start saying, uh-oh. Oh, oh no, it's the ladybug. Never ah, mind. okay. Ladybugs are, 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 well, I won't say they're friendly, but they won't attack. They are generally are docile. No, no but possible. there's a spider nearby. <laughs> I saw the spider. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. Way the spiders over there, are. The I know there are spiders near that tree because the tree is an important spot. Hey. Uh, oh, maybe this will help. Oh, you see, that could be a spider or it could be a ladybug over there. That's moving. It's a spider. <laughs> there are a lot of spiders. Okay, I'm going the other way. Look at these guys. It's a weevil. And you get a nose from it. Nice. <laughs> now, clovers are also important. Oh, yeah, because uh, I remember uh, weevils. Weevils, if you let them, if you let them react and, and search around, they'll pre- they'll, uh, they like mushrooms, yeah. so they'll well, lead you to fresh I'm mushrooms. I'm no longer their pets. friend, so... <laughs> Well, Aww. I killed one. Um, your your status resets when you die, I think. I, I'm pretty sure that if you continue to attack a certain type of creature, they'll remain permanently hostile. But Okay, we're back here. Oh, I wish there was a way to find... A lot of it is, is as exploration, because I'm trying to find some, some tree sap. So there's no way I'm going to be able to f- take down this weed. Yeah. Oh, there's another landmark. So, ice mince cap container. Oops. So, um, one of the biggest news, and I was shocked to see it, is that 2K uh, signed a deal with the NFL Players Association. Mm -hmm. As you know, they can make NFL non-simulation games with NFL licenses. Yes. They signed a deal with the NFLPA, meaning all they don't ha- they don't oh. have to do the real uniforms. They can just have all the real players. And if you ever saw um, All Star Football 2K, I think it was seven. Those those fake uniforms looked really good. From afar, they looked like exact the same colors, same general shapes. So you think that that's? Oh yeah, they're gonna make they're gonna, they're gonna make a simulation towards, football game with real gonna... NFL players and fake teams. And you know what you can do with fake teams, right? <laughs> you can just change yeah. the names. <laughs> Interesting. I never thought of that. Like, I uh, do you think the do you think it, the NFL or PA do about will, or do you think the NFL the, PA is that, uh, a licensing deal altogether? I wonder if I can get on top of this rake. Yay! I got on top of the rake. Now I can get a real lay of the land here. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, but that last time it was infested time. with this spiders. Is, uh... I don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Back off. Yeah. I, I remember, uh, I noticed that I remember my, uh, the, uh... my axe is degrading, too. Oh, yeah. It was so fresh and original when it's. Think about axes. These, uh, these cheap axes are easy to make, so. Well, there's something lurking down below. You just well, move I wonder it, if I could somehow get those in, uh, um, grass those pedal. dandelion things. So over there in the distance, ah, there's some there's some poison gas over there. So, but I do get a little I know. Also, it's nice to see the forest above the trees, so to speak. Is there anything moving out there? Any grass moving? No, see, the tree is over there. 
that's where um, story elements are. I don't know what's over here. <laughs> this is the first time since the demo I've a bit, I've explored in this area. Uh, I heard. For that. those who don't know, when we played the demo, the uh, there were uh, there were stink bugs hanging out on this yeah, rock. A lot by of this the game rate. is noise. On this, I hear something. And they were, and they were very <laughs> angry uh, stink bugs. Oh, 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 I'm gonna fall. Ow! I think it's uh, ow, ow, ow. Oh no! And something's oh, attacking. Damn. I hear something attacking. Oh, that looks oh no! Weird. It's the mites. The mites are attacking, but. Right now, I'm injured prey, so I, I think I'm close to the, um... Oh no, those are spiderlings. <coughs> but is there a spider nearby? I don't fear spiderlings as much as I do spiders. No, that thing attacking over there, that was a lawn mite. Okay, so... Uh, I still need tree sap in order to, um... <coughs> oh, is this tree sap over here? Yay! Okay, I got some tree sap. Which means I can... Oh, wait, it was right here! Hooray! It was right nearby! I, I explored all that in location for nothing! <laughs> well, <it's kinda, laughs> I mean, this sort of looks like poop here. I mean, it's mud, but still. Okay, so, I build a torch. I can build a mite hat for, for armor. There we go. Okay. Let's build that torch. <laughs> oh, Pete. Okay, now to build, when you build a lean-to, that's basically building a uh, save point. And also a respawn point. Okay, yeah. let's go... Uh, hi. I'm not going to let you guys kill me. Uh -uh. So, I wonder what Might Fuzz does. Because I still... I mean, I did... Just call me Little Gordon Freeman. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, I was low on health anyway. Let's respawn. And respawning is relatively painless in a way. You just have to go back to your body. Now, here's the problem. Well, no, it's not that. On your body. Um, <laughs> suppose you got killed by a spider. Guess what's going to be camping near your body? And you have nothing, and you have no equipment. A spider. Now you see the problem, don't you? And it's starting to get dark. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. And also, I have no uh, weapon with me. Although, I could just take a, bre uh, a pebble and... But I'm just gonna run to my corpse. Hi! Hey, where's my body? Oh, there it is. There you go. Okay, motherfucker. Hey, I don't have my torch. Look. Get my torch up. There we are. Okay. Let there be light. Wait a minute. Where am I? That's why I'm getting hit. Ooh! Oh, that's just... What no, is that? That's not a dangerous thing. That was uh, that was a weevil. Uh, oh, it seemed bigger. Okay. Oh, these things. So slime molds can also be made to uh, make torches, too. Nice. There's quite a bit of uh, new stuff and sort of rearranged stuff here. Just gotta get rid of all these mites. Okay, let's... Get over here. Am I still under attack? No. Okay, there is something here. No, I can't bash that down. I don't have a uh, good enough... Um, so there is something else that's weakening the laser. And actually, I didn't really have to go this far in. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh. I'll take your nose. Let's see. Oh boy, it's nighttime. Something's attacking. It sounds like the Jumanji drums. <laughs> it does. <laughs> What's attacking? Nothing's attacking. Okay, let me hop on here and... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the one thing that's left. Get off! Get off that! There we go. Okay, I fixed that part of the laser. And now it's ready to go. I can make myself big again. Um, where is it pointing? That way. 
Well, well this, is, this was a very short game, so... Once you do all that, that's it. Game over. You just make yourself big again, and you can go home. Yep. That's oh, really? the entire game, folks. This is sort of like the ending of uh, of the so witness. That's all the story, isn't it? <laughs> uh huh. So that's nope. currently all the story content. Oh. Oh, I see. Notice there were roses back there. Well, guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> so now I gotta go to the oak tree. Uh, you know, the oak tree where all those spiders were. Uh -huh. So um, I think it might be a good. Now, here's the thing um, it's actually a good idea to start building a lean to just in case. Now, you really wanna build it closer to the. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to build one now. So you can see, it doesn't take much to build a lead to. Uh huh. And this is how you do it. You just rotate it the way you want it. Oh yeah. And you can also um, then you stay. Oh, no, 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 stop. That was stupid. Let's construct that again. Press play, and you can create more than one if you want to. You just go over to it and you build. Boom. Set the respawn spot nice. or sleep. Now you don't have to sleep yet. Yay. Okay, let us move to the oak tree. I hear that. You get to learn... Oh, what? Hey, wait! Oh, no, he didn't take it from me. He just has his own. Now, if I can find aphids, they'll actually milk the aphids for me. Oh. Huh. So they'll milk it for themselves, but then they'll... Uh, I'll just say, thank you. Where's that oak tree? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need to eat. You thieving, tiny little human. Worse than my mom's uh, Brussels sprouts. Just keeping an eye on the, uh, <laughs> on the, uh, when you start seeing those, 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 uh, grass stalks moving, then, you know, uh, better be careful. What is when this? the big blades be bobbing. No, I know there's an anthill nearby, which is fun to look at. Okay. Now, I really should go back to the, uh, where is it? There it is, the field station, but I'm already too far away. So I might as well press forward. Mm -hmm. It's like going through a, well, literally going through a jungle because I can't even see far ahead of me. Can I chop down this stalk? Oh, yes, I can. Oh no, it's just a clover. Oh wait, that wasn't the weed. No, ah. that was the weed. No, that's grass. Where is it? I could have sworn... I guess not. Let me make sure I'm walking in the right direction. Hmm. Or maybe I should just look up. Yep, that's a tree. <laughs> oh nice, there's, so there's a whole map. Okay, so um, what else is going on? Oh, my, uh, my torch is almost out. Okay, let me pull this up. Um, Star Wars Squadron yep. is going to be forty dollars, and there's a reason for that. And the reason why, uh, yeah, the reason why EA is saying they're doing that is because it doesn't meet the, it doesn't like, oh. well, it's like not the scope tail. or or magnitude yeah. of other EA games, which is like the least EA thing well, I've ever thing. heard um, EA say. It's very basic. There are three modes so far. One is deathmatch, you know, or team deathmatch. I hear something growling, but nothing's attacking. That could be... Oh, that's you. What do you... What did you eat? Who do you attack? I know, I just... Oh, I just something. Young. Anyways, um... Oh. So... There's not much to the game. I think there are like five of the, of the uh, missions that are uh, fleet battle missions. And... 
it's not too EA, uh, non-EA, because here's the thing, um, you know there's going to be DLC out the wazoo for that game. Have you seen it played? Because sure. um, they actually had um, people demoing it. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, it looks incredible. And one thing that people are going to be very surprised at, it is a very technical game. It is very... Uh -huh. i got to be very careful now. This is spider territory. Hi! Ah! See, he's, he, these, these guys are little... These little runs are fast. <laughs> but yeah, constant yeah, decisions about down. whether or not you're going to uh, put your energy... Oh, put your ship's uh, energy output into shields, lasers, or, uh, or, or thrusters. So, like... Sh cycling through the like they they've said that like if you keep it balanced you should be fine, <gasps> but oh, okay. the, the better ah, players are me. going to realize that they're in he sees me. Time. Oh jeez. Okay, so here's That's the main problem good. of the game. This time, oh, you can uh, you can um, you know uh, just respawn. Yeah, but guess what? You die. I'm, I'm where the spider is and. There's no way I'm going to be able to survive now. Ugh. So I can Source. build an axe, but guess what? There's not much else I can do. And here's the biggest problem of that. Um, where I'm heading is where the game really begins. Hmm. Oh, I can't dig clay yet. No, I'm not drinking that water. Now, I did build a lean-to, obviously, because that's where I respawn, so it might be a good idea for me to sleep. If I can find a lean-to. Where's my lean-to? Yeah. Is there a way to, like, mark your primary yeah, I mean, home base? Yes. Um, like I said, you can... Let's go to the field station. You can build markers, but they won't appear on the map. They'll appear in this screen. Like, I, it'll have uh, an icon like that. That's showing where my, my body is. But for other stuff, you gotta... You can't, you can't put, you can't put an icon on the map. Got it! <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, so EA Squadron's costing $40. That's, that is interesting to me and noteworthy. Cause like, I I didn't I didn't buy Star Wars Battlefront Two because I and I hear it was better. I hear a lot of people enjoyed it, but I didn't find Star Wars Battlefront One to be like that content rich. I felt it was lacking in some areas, and like I, I quickly got bored with it. And like, they charged sixty, but they sure as heck charged sixty bucks for that game. So like. EA suddenly coming out and be like, this game isn't like a full game, so we're only going to charge you like 40 bucks for it. And it's like, that, that doesn't sound like something EA would do, but well, I appreciate it. I mean, it. It, it all depends on how they're going to mod this thing. If they're going to allow it, or what, you know. I mean, there may be, you know, limited content in terms of missions, but they have a wide array of uh, ships that you can use. Yeah. There's at least like I know there's at least going to be the four ships on either side in each class, but uh, they're also talking about like I, I assume at some point they're probably going to go deeper into lore and, and probably add some ship more ships. From Star oh, so Wars this is what I can use match fuzz for. Okay. But I also need to make arrows too. Might fuzz. Okay, that, that that's kind of complicated. So actually, it may sound oh. I can make a hammer now. This could actually, um... Let's see, axe... Yeah, look at this. It has low damage, low stun, but the pebblet hammer has more damage and more stun. It's slower, though. Yeah, it's a slower weapon. But it stuns more. Um, I just need a sprig and woven fiber. Can I make woven fiber? No. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, um... Oh yeah, big same. I'm, I'm. It's probably one of my more anticipated games of this year. So, um, there was something I posted there that had notes on it, additional notes. 
Uh, right. Well, avowed game. So yeah, game uh, right. read notes that I, I I put down so I can refresh my memory on this. Right now, all we can really confirm is that Avowed will be a first-person RPG, but rumors have long persisted the game will mirror elements of Skyrim and other Elder Scrolls RPGs. Last year, Obsidian posted several oh, right. job listings that might even get that might give an indication of what Avowed. They is are stressing the hell out of melee. It seems. Yeah, it seems that way. Which, like, melee has often been one of the weaker elements of games like Fallout and the Outer and the Outer Worlds, in my opinion. Just, just because the I uh, the a hammer. I don't know. I guess, I guess, uh, I've, I guess, I've never seen an Obsidian do like a uh, a medieval fantasy game. Which is well, I mean, they've done, medieval, more, they've done like, tons of fantasy games, I mean, like Pillars of Eternity, which, by the way, is... But, um, oh, sure, sure. But, I mean, like, the difference between uh, doing that and actually, like, being behind the eye, like, directly ah! handling control of the, of the character. This is ridiculous. Oh, no. You can manage to run from them, if you're smart. And I hear the music fading, so which means I lost them. So yeah, um, and I didn't have this much trouble the first time I went to this place. But yeah. um, see, here's the thing, Obsidian. Yeah, I see you, little aphid. Um, Obsidian, you know, is, this is just a this is just an alpha. You know, this is not a uh, well, not an alpha, but um, it's a pre-release build, and you know they're taking suggestions. And mine would be, if you really want people to get to the key stories place, which starts the game in, in earnest, you got to make it easier for people to do that. <laughs> you can't just stick a bunch of spiders in front of there. Mm -hmm. Have the spiders come on night three or something. Yeah. You would rather it be like a slow escalation yeah. into bigger and greater threats? I don't even know if I'm going to go to my body. Like night Wait, one, what? you have to deal with ants and such. No, night no, three, I mean... deal with spiders. Like just the spiders. Seven. Just the, the spiders. scorpion comes. <laughs> I oh, I can't build a canteen. <laughs> so, um, let me build a lean to. I need clover leaves, and I need sprigs. Okay. Well, sprigs are easy enough to find. Oh, there's a clover, and I. Oh, okay. So I see a difference here. I cannot chop down a clover with a hammer. Clover loose, there it is. Usually there's three of them. I hear you, Ant. I, I don't want to deal with you right now. Let's see. So the hammer can pound stuff. Well, the, well, the axe obviously chops stuff. I also notice it's kind of inconsistent with the health and water meters. Okay. So I have. Do I have everything? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's create a lean to. Nice. Well, let's create a lean to closer to <laughs> the area. I don't know how I got in the place without encountering a spider before. But I will say this I got trapped inside it by spiders. Yeah. Oof. And the only way to get out of there was the suicide. So terrifying. Ah. I mean, I could have. I hit them with my axe, you know, because their legs were coming in, and it's like I took off like a hundredth of his of his health. And there was no. It, it would take me all night just to whittle them down to die, so I wasn't even a bother. Mhm. Mm okay. Let's see. Not what I want. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna build a lean to here. Let's construct this. And let's sleep. Because I want to be in the morning. <laughs> and now let me set the yeah. spawn point. I hear you. <laughs> You get to to know what those things sound like. Okay, let's see if I can see if there's any yeah. dew up there. 
Because as you can notice, I'm hungry and I need water. Oh! Nope, that's not. I wonder if I could eat an aphid. No, I did catch one. If you can catch one. I may have to drink some bad water if I can't find a, uh... Sneaking along. Where are you? Now, this does have helpful hints sometimes. You know, I notice that something will pop up. Like, there's water over there. Okay. No, I have to be really careful here. Oh, by the way, this is an abandoned anthill. Which I suspect is a good place for spiders to live. Oh, yeah. Looks like the kind of place where a big creepy crawly can be. Oh, there's water. I gotcha. Yum, yum, yum. Yay. Now I just need to find something to eat. Oh, look at this. Now, the problem is it's not going to help me, but if I could build a canteen... I wonder why it's dripping there. No, I thought maybe it might be something like a faucet. But no. Okay, this is where I was before. Now. I'm going to take a circuitous route around here. But yeah, I mean, everybody's excited about Avowed. I mean, everybody is excited. Because here's the thing, you know, they made... Fallout New Vegas, so people know that this is the sort of thing they can handle. Yes. And, like, banking on the universe that they've already established with uh, Pillars of Eternity and giving a new perspective on it, that's just you know, smart. I, I like that a I don't lot. think it needed the license for uh, the Pillars of Eternity universe to... What's this? It didn't, but... Yeah, it I didn't, mean, but they've got it. I know one or two people were actually disappointed that this means there will be no Pillars of Eternity 3. But that well, doesn't no, they, mean they, that. Well, there's not going to be one developed anytime soon, let me put it that way. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. It's got a taste. You can actually go inside that, too. Actually, I did go inside it. <clears throat> I think we went inside this before. Yes, I can. Yes, uh, it was the Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's soda. <laughs> hey, can I get out, please? Oh, I'm trapped inside a soda can. Uh, that would be a shame. Well, it's well soda. Well, it's soda. <laughs> all right. Okay. So let me take this. Hi, Ethan. Now, um, oh, by the way, these acorns, they make really good armor, so I'm going to see if I can actually pound it. Oh, I can! Yeah. Uh, you might have known there's a worm coming here. Oh, yeah. You got the... <laughs> I can build a mushroom garden with these. Okay, so you know what? Let's ignore the, uh, the tree for a second. Let's grab some more acorn. Because the other thing that the acorns can do is um, nice. they can actually uh, give you uh, armor. And acorn bits, which is edible. Yeah. Ah, okay. So guess what? Choke it down. It's, oh, uh, what's wrong with acorn? It's, it's like eating a nut. <laughs> Let's get some more. Oh, that's another thing that wasn't in the previous game. I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, look at this. When you look down, you can see yourself. Just good because you know. Yeah. God, this game is. Just... I love how much detail they go into, and just like Ooh, every little bit of mushroom patch. patch. Okay, there's a lake over there. Oh, there's another. Um, there's another landmark. I'm not gonna go to it though. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this I'm discovering uh, as much as you. I mean, I got an hour into the game testing it on, and then I said, you know, that's it. I'm just gonna. So here's some more mushrooms. Yeah. A lot of mushrooms. Uh, one thing I'm glad about is that there doesn't seem to be any uh, there doesn't seem to be any uh, limit to your carrying ca capability, except for the really big things uh -huh. like those you carry on your shoulder. You can only carry like five or six of them on your shoulder. But um, yeah, you can carry as many reagents yeah. as you want. Or those those aphids just, just darting all over the place. So if you notice, I am actually uh, sneaking around right now. I wonder if there's a consistent way to get sap, though. 
Is there a particular spiders reason you're seeing I, I got killed by a spider last time I was here. Oh. And I want to get to this place. Because oh, yeah. the game does a complete 360, uh, 180 when you get to it. Okay, so there's the fire. And I think this is a good place for a lean-to. <laughs> I forgot I have to find a good place to put the lean-to. Oh, there we are. There we are. Na -na 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 -na. There's no way um, I won't have to trudge all the way back here if I get killed. Yeah. Okay. Something shorted out here. I think if I keep to the high road... Oh, look at this. So we should talk about uh, Some more Microsoft you Flight Simulator. Is yeah. Um, everybody who's been doing it has been... Oh, shit. And they don't see me. Okay. <laughs> Um, they've been absolutely amazed by it. People have oh. been just... This is a flight simulator to end flight simulators for, for a lot of people. Yeah, right? Like, more sound. we, uh... This, some, someone I know may or may not have it. And, uh, maybe doing yeah. a little bit of work on it. Not, not work on it, but uh -huh. like, uh, you know, coverage. Um, and... <laughs> It was like they something I saw there from it, it was like it looked real. It looked like absolutely so real that I couldn't believe that it came from so the video game for a let's second. Take a pause on the Microsoft Flight Simulator and hey, look at this. What is this over here? Hmm. Mysterious. Mysterious. Oh, look at the door. There's prints inside. There's a lot of purple around. So us. I wonder if I could build a lean to here. Well, I can't. I don't have enough for you. Uh, things. Oh, well. Uh, I'm close enough. Well, this is an interesting thing to find inside of an oak tree. <laughs> Fortunately, this... Well, actually, it did have... A, there are two kinds of... There are multiple kinds of spider. One of them was actually small enough to get in here. I heard that. Nee, nee, nee. Oh. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. So now we're getting to the crux of the game. And oh look, we have um, we have uh, we have uh, what's it called? Uh, man, uh, uh, this, sort of like System Shock style uh, uh, audio tapes. Oh, nice. This game is very kiddie, though, in a good way. Because the name of the robot Burgle. is Burgle. Uh huh. With a name like Burgle. Oh yeah, there's a puzzle here. So. I need you to monitor these readings. Got it. <laughs> Burgle. There we go. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and? And I opened up a door. Now, Understood. fortunately, um, I was I'm going to be pre I was prepared for I'm prepared for this now. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Burgle used to was made to be a burger flipper, and then just be evolved as a robot. Na -na 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 -na. Hello. Hi, Burgle. Where are you hurt? There we go. Ah, poor Burgle. Thanks yeah. for the helping hand. I am B -B -B ah! Okay, this guy. This thing likes to attack, so I have to defeat it. Last time it killed me. Well, it. Ah! Shit. Tasty. Fortunately, it's not exactly Dark Souls. <laughs> he has a very easy pattern. So I just have to wait for him to. S Ow! Well, he didn't actually hurt me. He does that. He attacks three times. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on Oh my gosh. Just these little, uh, little bit of a jerk. Got it. Phew! You found Burgle, and the story is just getting started. Guess what he is? He is our quest giver. <laughs> you can also talk to him a lot as well. So this is basically where the game really begins. Ah, nice. Hello there. 
I haven't figured out what raw science is. You notice that every time I do something, like craft something or investigate something, you'll see these this purple uh, cone appear. So raw science, huh. I think, is... Um, what would you like science to know about? Oh, here we are. Raw science. So, you might notice that this is very kid-friendly. I, I love his mustache, too. Yeah, I was going to say, the very, very, very first thing I noticed was his rainbow mustache. I'm afraid I cannot give you a more helpful yeah, explanation. Whatever. It's true nature. What I can say is that we observed it. Anything more than that would be pure. As acting science oh. manager, I am happy to answer you. Ah. That is one of Dr. Tully's most ingenious, a portable device which can monitor your vital, quite the elegant design. Okay, so here's the thing, um, let me leave him for a moment, and you'll notice now what that thing on the lower left looks like. So, um, that's why it looks like that. It looks like a robot. <laughs> so now you can get missions from him. So let's see, see, let's see what happens. Face around here. Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed. Oh, okay, kill a weevil. I can do that. Nice. So yeah, um, there's yeah, a lot of uh, audio tapes in here. Um, I know there's a second one that I didn't pick up yet. I still haven't figured out what raw science does. Uh, raw, raw science does. I think it's some sort of currency because you can trade it in for something else. Mm -hmm. uh, these doors are closed. You know how they close? Because there's red, and it says lock. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't open it. That's oh, the same room. <laughs> it's yeah. a big fancy button. I love the sound of the doors. They're very Star Trek. So, yeah. So, <laughs> this is basically not your... your um, this is not your base of operations, but it is... So, here's the thing. There's also a uh, thing that allows you to analyze stuff here, too. So... You had the field station, you have this, you know, this station also has the analyzer, so I don't have to run all the way back just to get something analyzed if I can find it. Here it is. So let's see what SAP can do. See, I got some raw science. Uh, oh yeah, so let's see about the acorns, because I think I can make some really good armor out of it. I believe I remember there being like a sap catcher. Oh, uh, there's a certain okay. there was a certain limitation on the analyzer, like you could do it maybe three times in a day. A oh, station. there it is, right there. I, see the <laughs> I think this is what will this will give me armor. That's one yeah. does when they're tiny. Acorn things. shell. Yeah, here it is. Acorn chest plate. Acorn <laughs> fame mass. Acorn what's it called? That's it storage chest. Okay, uh, that's all I can. Do. Nice. Yeah. So let me talk to Burgle here and see what I can do with this raw science. It is nice to see, see what happens. The friendly face or if you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy bring me more oh. of my Okay, so he's basically your store. And I'll be so we can't do anything yet. Mm -hmm. We need to find his chips out there. And then we can start buying stuff from him. Got it. Okay. So raw science is a kind of currency. Now this down here there's nothing to look at. Oh yeah, I can pick up some no more purple stuff. And pebble. I don't have a torch though. Okay. Uh, there's nothing there. Okay. So yeah, um, I really want to play this multiplayer. <laughs> Feels kind of lonely down here. Now, what I'm hoping is there's no yeah. spiders waiting for me, trapping me inside this place. That's the one thing I'm hoping, because that is a danger here. Yeah, that would be... Okay, so... That would be super obnoxious. And I hope it's not a scripted event that they attack you. Oh, I need to eat. Better than starving, there I think. Go. Did it fill it all the way? That's... I think it takes time... Oh, no. Okay. So, I actually need something to drink. This is more of what I need. You just eat the last of that so I can have an open slot. Okay, so... No, no, no. no pissed off spiders, please. So, Microsoft Flight Simulator with VR support, that really does sound like... <laughs> I wonder what kind of... We saw... I, I think we talked about it already. A good the, um, setting. The system specs. The medium one is... 
is the card I have now. Um, which means I can do it on their medium specs. Uh -huh. The beefy one requires the um, NVIDIA 280. And I think something like 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, solid state hard drive. Uh -huh. That sort of stuff. Let's check over here. I think the spiders are probably still over there. But like the, the requirements that we were talking about... Oh god. VR requires. They just yeah, they just announced VR for it. How much uh... So I wonder like I wonder what kind of beef you need to run VR in that game and still make it. It's a crisis it situation. As it is. You know, it's a crisis as in C R Y S I S. Sort of like it's future proof to the max. <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh yeah, I have a uh... Hi! Die. I need to get my I need to get my experience, but there we go. <laughs> I fulfilled my mission. I killed a weevil. Oh boy, you know, I'm not gonna go in the water. I can just picture some trout gobbling me up right now. <laughs> you know it's not here, which I'm a little bit worried about? Where are the birds? <laughs> What's that? There's my house. Oh yeah. Like, this is... this. Oh wait, I, wait, I wait, I heard the something. Scope things it sounded like a caw. It's probably not, but... I'm paranoid right now. Uh, this is a place I've never been to. <laughs> We're in the Rose Garden, though. Oh boy, there's a spider over there. He doesn't see me. So, you were saying? I was going to say, like, the, you're, you're literally 10 millimeters tall in this game. Like, that's the that's the scope of things. Oh, I can pick up a flower So a bird would okay, basically cool. be Godzilla. There are flower petals all over down here. Okay. They're a resource. Nice. So I see where I might want to, um... No oh, fuck. He didn't see me, though. Not yet. There's there's two of them over there. That's a spider. That's two spiders. You don't see me. Hey, but I do need this. I do need this. Get some nectar. Ooh, that's different. I'm pretty sure this stuff I'm picking up is extremely valuable. <laughs> some more. Mm -hmm. Some more water. Don't even and need I am to just boil gonna, it. Oh boy. I am going to sneak my way out of here. Sheesh. Yeah. Gotta be stealthy like the wind. But um here's the main point about flight simulator that I read is that it is extremely noob noob friendly. If you know nothing about flying, it has the, the easiest Cessna to fly and you can adjust the realism settings to anything you want. Nice. So you've been playing it. You've been obliquely riff. What? Which one? Flight simulator. Been playing what? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, I've not. But someone I, some, one of my colleagues has been uh, working coverage on it. And, like, the game is, this? is so gorgeous. Like he, I saw a screenshot uh -huh. that he he'd taken, and uh, it was. Oh my god, gorgeous. Like, and I, it was hard to believe that it came from a game. And he was talking about that was after he compressed it. Which is like, if it looked that good and it's lost quality along the way, that's amazing. That game is going to be just absolutely And here's the thing, gorgeous. um, we're talking about third, third party support right now, okay? And uh, one thing that there's not going to be any need for third party support, obviously, is with, um, oh, I can smash up pebbles. Um, you don't have to, uh, it, it's, it uses Google, uh, not Google, I mean, uh, Bing Maps. So, okay, it's just going to give a bunch of pebbles. Um, which is okay. But, um, the main part of it is that, um, there are 47,000 airports out there. And, um, they only covered, like, um, I want to say a couple thousand. So one of the things that you can find in third-party support uh -huh. are detailed um, airports. And by the way, if you... The game simulation goes far beyond even the flying. Um, cars will behave as they do. People at the airport will behave as they do. You'll have the... Um, you'll have the routines uh, scripted and pathfinded. And it'll get a uh, GPS, so you can have it so that real flights are are simulated 
as they go in real life from that airport. So you can have all the real flights flying out of that airport. No water filtration tablets needed. Hmm. Yeah, like, it's something short of amazing what they're doing with it. And, like, I, I want to see more. I, I like, want to explore that world. I want to take a, 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 just straight, like, a relaxing fly yeah. through the skies and whatever. I am far away from this, uh, from fuel station here. I think the natural inclination of everyone is to be like, okay, let's find well, I already house. saw my house. I mean, but, like, um, I live on the east, near the East River, so it was very easy to find my apartment building. Uh, in 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 the in the simulation. Yeah, I mean. and like I don't care about my house. Why do I care? That's neat and all. And I'm like I was gonna say, why do I care about my house? That's neat and all. But like I want to fly into like fly mountains crash into your and, own uh, house around giant forest fly and crash valleys. into your own house. <laughs> That's what I a lot of people say they want to do. Into my own house. They just want to fly and crash into their <laughs> own house. That sounds like a bad idea. Um. So yeah, I. <clears throat> the other thing is that um, you can you can program it so that it mimics the weather, real weather, in real time. It has volumetric fog. It has it has everything. And a flight instructor said that he, it is a it could be used as an actual flight instruction instructor thing. Yeah. That's impressive. Is that accurate? I mean. There are several hundred points of physics on each plane, which react to the, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to air pressure and all that. And um, if you have it on realism, you will have turbulence as it would realistically do. I hear growling. It sounds like a ladybug is nearby. Hmm. So, um, so what else is there? I know there's some more notes there. Too far. Gone too far. Oh, I've gone too far. <laughs> I'm trying to find the station. I have not yet attempted to build anything. Has science what? gone too far? <laughs> Has science gone too far? What are, you, what are you looking at? Oh. This game. <laughs> no, I've gone too far. I, I overshot this. Ah. Uh. Let's see what well, you know what the clover leaf can do. But we let's see what rose petals can do. The flower petals. I think it's about time I started building myself some armor, actually. Mm -hmm. A little bit of survivability against some speed. Don't have any of that anytime soon. You saw that the one kit kill me, killed me. <laughs> okay, so like maybe one and a half t hits might kill you next. <laughs> oh, I can build traps now. A lure trap. Lures insects. Oh. So that's what I can use the flower petal for. I can lure them in. Okay, let's see about armor. Oh, there we are. I had a clover hood before. No, that's different. Mite hat. I need to kill mites for that. Clover. I can build a clover hood. Uh, I don't have enough clover, though. Let's look at the acorn stuff. Wow, uh, that's gonna make me look freaky if I if I build it. I still need mite fuzz and so oh this I could probably build. So let's start looking for some. What did I need again? Clover leaves. No, I mean um, what other news items are there? Um, so we already talked about that. Foot new oh wait, we talked about the. Um, Bulletstorm developer is people. People can fly is working on something new for yep. PS5. And for those who don't know, uh, they're actually they're best known for um, Painkiller. Oh, Outriders! Yes, I've been looking. At, I've been watching this game for a while. And yep. I like the look of it. It, it reminds me of Destiny. The thing about more people can fly is a lot of their games. You might have noticed this with Bulletstorm and uh, Painkiller is that they do some really fast. Oops, I gotta use an axe. Yeah. 
they they know how to make a, a fast paced uh, action packed game. You know, sort of like Doom. Mm -hmm. Except, well, I played Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal wasn't as fast paced as I want, and it was a lot of climbing and stuff like that. That's not what I want from Doom. Hey, Wolf and Fiber. Can I craft? Yeah, but like. There we go. The, like, Whee! this game in particular, they've, uh, they've put a lot of effort into, like. <laughs> not, huh? I like the idea of these characters that all that like they do yeah. the, the third person shooter thing. They they all do like the badass uh, gunplay, but then they also have certain elemental abilities. Any... Oh, I need one more. Oh, I have everything. And they talked about like. Oh, I need a workbench. Okay. They t one of the things they talked about with this game. One of the things they talked about re previously with this game was that it was going to have mm -hmm. sort of an adaptive difficulty. Where if you continue to like annihilate everything in your way, the difficulty would get harder, but it would also supply more rewards to you. Um, and likewise, if you're getting your butt kicked over and over, it'll slowly lower itself, and you'll have to work your way back to that uh, harder difficulty. Yeah. So yeah, something I actually have to build a workbench in order to so, build. So I need to build a workbench first. So this looks like a good co-op game for 2020. I like I, I I know it's set for 2020 on the current gen, but I would almost so rather jump in. I, I should eat it, but I can use it for something else. Okay. Workbench. So I have to figure out how to build a workbench. Oh, I can build a shovel now. That's cool. There we are. Nope. A dew collector, a roasting spit. So yeah, as you play on, you know, things start to... I need to be able to get some gla glass pa grass planks. That's easy enough. Mm -hmm. And like you, like you said earlier, like people... The, the, that list of things you can build really populates and people start, like... People have been building super elaborate things in this game, like three-story buildings. Like you can also build fortresses and, and spike uh, spike traps for to keep uh, intruders out and uh, and display trophies of uh, those of trophies bugs are, are, are going to keep uh, them, them you can away. Really... Like if I kill a spider, I could put his head at the <laughs> I could put a head I could put a, a spider head near my uh, thing, and it's like spiders avoid it because they oh look he he killed one of us. Some. I mean, Max, Mad Max explored the uh, in Road Warrior. Yeah. This is Long okay, Warrior. Let's construct a, a workbench so I can build some armor. Okay. Hey. Okay. So now I can use my workbench to build acorn chestplate, and I can still build it. Let's craft and equip it. So now, um, nice. if I go to my inventory screen. I'm now wearing my uh, my craft armor. So let's see how good this cool. armor is. That's okay defense. But at least I'm not going to instant die now. Oh, I can. Uh, there's also, if you notice on the lower left, you can see the armor. Um, the armor's durability has a dur. It has its own durability. Cool. Um. You know, people can uh, can fly. Know how to do uh, know their shit. Yes, like everything I've seen about this game looks really good so far. It looks like it's gonna and, and they've made mention that it's gonna be a co-op game on uh, on current and next gen. I think I'm gonna wait for next gen for this because I kind of want to jump in when like yeah. it's on it at its best. Uh, where are the friggin' the clovers? I dig what they've showed so far. I think, you know, like, I don't think this is going to be, I don't think it's going to be a one-to-one -one Destiny style game, or at least I hope not, but it does look like it's going to really have sort have of that vibe. <laughs> um, yeah. Ah, uh, but I don't have dry grass. Well, that's easy enough to find. Oh. Which I know saying Destiny for some people is enough to make them flinch away from a product, but it, like, this... Outriders at least. You know it's coming this year, and people, it's gone under the radar, and that's Serious Sam 4. And yes. I need another great dry grass trunk. That's grass. I need dry grass. 
And uh, when we saw it at, um, you know what, I could use that. Get down here. Wrong one. Down here. Nope. This one. There you go. Thank you. Um, they showed it off at the E3 that we went to, and they showed tens of thousands of screamers at once. So just picture those things with the bombs for hands that scream running, except there's 10,000 of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're also doing another yeah, show. Yeah, I don't know the appeal. The entire the entire joke is his name is Lo Wang. My name is Lo Wang. It means uh -huh. penis. I mean, what am I missing? Oh, I gotta craft some of this. There we go. It's not what I wanted. There we are. Let's. Did I equip it? No. I gotta equip. It. There we go. But that's pretty okay. much the news we've got. I'm excited for Outriders, though. I really am. I want. That's maybe one of the more interesting games I've seen for the next gen. Probably one of the ones I'm most interested. <laughs> we in. have a we have a we have a comment on the. Uh, says that someone made them come and watch us. We're glad you got. You, so we're glad someone forced you to watch us play. Me play uh, grounded. <laughs> This is so much more like this. This looks like yeah. it's going to be fun for quite a while, even if the story content well, runs out. Well, um, like here's the thing: so much. Uh, this is sort of like Subnautica, in that there is an ending, and I'm pretty sure it's you grow mm -hmm. back to normal size. And I, I, I'm going to tell you something: after I do the ending, I imagine my character is going to wreak terrible revenge on the spiders. You thought, oh, you want you think <laughs> things are different now that I'm 500 times bigger than you now, isn't it? I remember you, Mr. Spider. Do you remember me? <laughs> Never just putting a glass jar on top of them in a piece well, of paper. You know, I, I again. think most people are going to become friends with the uh, with the ants in this. I. They played with the uh, they toyed with the idea of yeah. ant corral where you could uh, where you could uh, lead them I into doing? your base and like uh, sort of make an ant farm. <laughs> I really hope they do. I I really hope they do. So I think the slime mold yeah. torch actually lasts a shorter amount of time than the regular uh, gra dry grass torch. I hear something wants to attack now. You. I am not too frightened of you. Nothing else. I heard that. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of them. So, um, I actually think this is an appropriate time to leave. I mean, um, you said you didn't get a chance to, uh, oh, I wonder if I can. Yes, I can! Get me some sap! There we go. Nice. And crush me a, a mite. Yeah, this is not very good for attacking with. If there's a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is this? Yeah. What a mess. Alright. If there's a mosquito in that step, you can, uh, <laughs> search dinosaurs. So, yeah, um, now you don't have this yet. How Not much yet. are you no, looking forward to playing it now? A lot. It, uh, I've, I've been watching my coworkers huh. play it, and I'm just waiting on my I will spare you, Weevil. This, this one time. Um,. The thing is that, uh, this is sort of like, uh, you know, Minecraft in that it's not done. This game is not nearly done yet. And yet, is that a... Uh -huh. No, that's another Weevil. Okay. Oh, frig, I forgot to record this. I mean, I can download it from, uh... I can actually download it from, um... From Twitch, but, yeah, it's, it's better Twitch. to record it because I can record it at a higher resolution. Oh, well. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You know, that the lighting. Oh, I the light, lighting. Lighting made it look like there was a spider here. It's like wow. See, I, I, look, see that? See the way uh, <laughs> the lighting plays off it? It's like no, it's a spider. Oh no, it's just yeah. 
that's one of the things I like about this game too is the physics. Um, I saw from some things that when you play this on the Series X, it's going to look absolutely amazing with ray tracing and everything else. It's mm -hmm. and I actually played it. I remember, oh, I played yeah, the demo on a higher resolution than this. This is for streaming, this resolution. But we played the demo on a really high resolution. It looked incredible anyway. So. Mm -hmm. I love seeing this game, and I, 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 I promise once I, uh, once I have, uh, once I have my next paycheck, yeah, I'm gonna get I this one. I might join you. Just the shafts are raised. I mean, it's not, it's not true ray tracing, but it is nice uh, playing with color and light. Yep. For sure. And of course, this is cross-platform, so um, only, the only thing you need is an Xbox Live account to uh, to play multiplayer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, this is one of the first, and it's not been released yet. I think it's supposed to have a 2021 final release. Um, but to me, it is like the first big release, you know. And uh, since I didn't get myself trapped by spiders in that in that lab. By the way, um, it's interesting that that lab was uh, miniature-sized. So I wonder if the doctor is somewhere around here. But yeah, like I said, um, I don't know what's going to be scarier, uh, spiders or when they introduce birds. <laughs> well, like I said, you're supposed to be like 10 millimeters tall, so a bird by, uh, by comparison would yeah. literally be like Godzilla. It doesn't have Godzilla. to be a big bird. Or, you know, you can have, um, you know, if, when I was near the water, you know, I, I think it would be appropriate to have dragonflies buzzing around. Oh, yeah, a finch would be like, uh, I guess, uh, a finch would probably be yeah. about the size of the baseball, if you, if you wanna, cause that baseball is like a regular baseball, and a, a finch is about that same size. Yeah. You know the well, baseball I'm talking about, right? right can I cut down a dandelion? It just said dandelion here. Uh -huh. um, the other thing? Oh, I can. Look at this. I can cut down a dandelion. So so if you think about the scale of things, a finch would be a, the size of that base. Knock it down, though. Wow, you hear that? That sound effect made it sound like I was chopping down a sequoia when it fell. <laughs> Let's see if I have anything else. Try grass. Where is the uh, dandelion? Damn it! Oh, wheat stem. Oh, okay. I gotta find out what a wheat stem does. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's drop this. Unload. Um, there was something else. Oh yeah, you know what insect I haven't encountered yet, which I know is in the game, and that's the praying mantis. Oh yeah. Because yeah, for those who don't know, terrifying. the praying mantis eats spiders. <laughs> And from my scale, it'll be the size of a brontosaurus. Mm -hmm. See, can I analyze that? Do I have to actually hold it? No. Yes, I do. That's going to be awkward. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And we'll... F Here's the thing. Um, one game I was considering playing, and that was Carrion. But I think that'll be a better thing for next week. Um, how far have you gotten in Carrion? Uh, I just got the ability okay, to turn. Okay, so I'm this. actually beyond you. Although, to be honest, when I actually play, um, I'll be playing from the start, so people get an idea of what's going. Oh, there we go. So that people can, uh, s uh what's it called? See the origin, basically, pop out of a of a of a sort of like the beginning of uh, Prince of Darkness. You pop out of a uh, a container, a glass container. Sturdy door stem wall. Yeah. So here's the thing. When you say something like sturdy door, it makes me think at some point it's going to be like the spiders are going to decide, you know what, we need to get rid of this guy and they're going to start attacking and start searching me out. Sort of like those creatures from Minecraft. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Carrion, it's a really fun Metroidvania by Devolver Digital, and I can't imagine anybody but Devolver Digital publishing that game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. It's... It not only is just like interesting in its scope as a, a quote-unquote yeah. reverse horror game, 
There's a lot of unintentional comedy in that game, simply from what you can do and how you can interact. You know that game, uh, Rapture reminds me of another game that we, we streamed, but we're not able to save because, for whatever reason, my voice wasn't was silent, and that is Ape Out. Both are games about a creature trying to escape its human captors. And I actually learned there is a um, there is an achievement for going through a, a record without attacking anybody. There is a pacifist achievement for not the entire game, just one one level, or at least one. Ape out. Ape so you out have to attack or carrion. Carrion. You don't have a choice in the matter. My favorite uh, the, my favorite achievement so far in carrion is uh, chopping someone's head off and eating it. <laughs> you get an achievement for that. Anyways, thanks for nice. watching, and we will uh, see you next week.